That way you can still compare them. So look, there's two methyls, no H out there, so that knocked one of the methyls away. It just really makes it a lot easier to look at the molecule, I think. So now we're gonna pause it and see if we can get the other one in there. Okay, we were running out of tape here, so we got her finished up here. Four different steps that the vitamin D3 can go through. The ultraviolet light broke up the double bond. Now you get an O from the liver. So that makes the 25 hydroxy. They're counting this as the 25th carbon is now a diol, right? Well, now you get another O from the kidneys, which makes it a triol. So this ring, a lot of the stuff's happening in here. Then all of a sudden, when you think you got it down, it hydroxylates it out there. That's on the end. So the ring, I mean, now there's still the five-membered ring and the six-membered ring, but the two rings, I guess you still got a ring up there, too. But boy, that sure opened up from the cholesterol ring that we had. See, that's still got the four, four rings in there, the big old cholesterol side group as usual. One little OH out there. So that's seven dehydro, because it took the other hydro OL off, cholesterol. UV light hits it, breaks open that middle ring, and it gets an O from the liver, goes to 25 hydroxy, vitamin D3. Then it gets another O from the kidneys. So you get a lot of double bond stuff going on in here. Hydroxylating. But it all starts with getting the ultraviolet light. There is called 125 dihydroxy, but it's actually three. Get in there quick. Where the camera goes. One, 25 dihydroxy, but it's got three. It's got three OL groups on there. So I don't know where they get off calling it a dihydroxy. It's a trihydroxy. Huh? 125, one. Down there on the three. Down here's the 25 hydroxy. So we're going to fit that all in there. So now with the color coding, you can go through and compare which carbons change their personalities. There's the, the D3 comes from first the 7-hydrocholesterol. <laughs> 